G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Outback Adventures and today we're actually in the shed. We're going to uh, install, make a frame to install the solar panel on the roof of the Navara. So first off I'll give you a look at what we've got here. This is the uh, 160 watt Renergy solar panel. Um, here we've got some slotted angle iron and the trusty MIG welder and we're going to see what we can do with all that and put it all together. What we've got here is the um, slotted angle frame and as you can see the frame is deeper than the solar panel but that's for a reason. It stretches from the front canopy rail to the centre canopy rail. We've got a gap all around the... I'm just going to square this up a bit. We have a gap through here and the idea of the gap is we're going to run this rubber, this 4mm rubber underneath and up the side so we'll actually get a a, uh, a buffer in there we'll get it nice and tight and the third rail we've got to run a rail through the back here just to support and it'll actually give us some support to this frame so uh, next thing to do is glue it all together and these holes in the frame I'm hoping will line up with the holes in the solar panel and then we can bolt it together and that'll make the frame held rigid. Okay, have a quick look at the solar panel here. If we turn the panel over. Okay, and put it on the ground, you can see there's these row of holes along the edge of the solar panel. And I imagine that we should be able to get them to line up somewhere along that slotted angle frame. So just give you a quick look at the solar panel. It's a Renergy 160 watt. Okay, so we're up here on top of the canopy, and as you can see, there's the frame. And uh, just a trial fit. The frame for the solar panel rests across these, these ladder racks that I had installed when I bought the canopy so that's how it will sit we'll have to make some sort of mounting bracket to come down here and around I don't want to go screwing into here yet so we'll make some sort of corner bracket one for each corner so the way I'm going to mount this um, angle iron onto the canopy is I'm going to make this bracket so this represents the um, the angle iron this is the box section looking at side on that's the uh, ladder rack on the canopy so we've got 38 mil of angle iron this is a 40 by 40 box here so what we'll do is we'll give it a couple of mil a bit of clip so it's just not too tight 43 across the bottom it's going to come up 30 mil on there and have a little 20 mil return so then we can put a bolt through here and I'll just show you how I'm going to make this so this here is just trying to represent the this is the box section on the the aluminium on the vehicle, the roof rack, and this is our angle line. So I'm going to come down here, cross underneath, up, and make a little return tang. And we'll use these. We'll just line up the the little return with these slots, so we'll be able to uh, bolt it there, and we'll we'll come in here off the side. So, all right, let's give that a go and make the first one. Okay, so here's our bracket, uh, 25 by 3 flat bar. And if you have a look around here at our little demo um, setup we've got, you'll see that it fits under there. And we'll bolt it in through that hole there and we'll pick up a hole or we may have to drill a hole in in this angle line. But we'll have, so that'll sit there and we'll have one for each corner. So uh, yeah, one down, three to go. So as you can see we've now got four brackets and we'll just mark them one, two, three, four for the four corners because the holes may be slightly different. And uh, we'll put some holes in them, trial fit them on the canopy and then we'll get the uh, solar panel in. Okay, just uh, an update on the uh, brackets for the solar panel um, surround that we're going to fit on the roof of the canopy. These brackets which we made yesterday work fine on the back but we'll have to rethink our front bracket because there's not enough room to to put the bolt in to hold the panel and also mount the bracket so what we're going to go with is 
we're now going to go with a bracket like this so we'll uh, this represents the box section of the ladder rack on the canopy this is our angle iron frame that holds our solar panel so we're going to put a tab on the front put an L-shaped bracket which we're going to cut out of a piece of 75 by 50 box and slit it and then we'll put a bolt through underneath so that bolt will actually be clamping it so we'll weld this on here weld this onto there and uh, yeah so uh, plan B for the front all right let's get get that made here's these brackets we just made as you can see here the box just represents the the cross brace on the ladder rack and we'll have a plate the front of the angle iron which is the frame that holds the solar panel and this tab will be welded underneath here and as you can see basically we're going to use this bolt and sandwich these two together uh, around the ladder rack on the canopy on the front so the rear will be the original bracket this is how we're going to do the um, the front one and here's the um, bracket now welded onto the front of the solar panel frame one on that front and we have one here as well you get the idea that it'll bolt onto the front rail on the canopy so now it's time the frames made now it's time to get the solar panel in we're going to put some weather strip on here here's the weather seal strip that we're actually going to run between the edge of the solar panel frame and the solar panel it's a sticky back uh, 25 mil wide 4 mil thick okay the weather strips in this rubber seal here just gives it a bit of shock absorbing cushion for the solar panel as you can see we've gone all the way around on the inside lip and now time to put the solar panel in and we'll screw that down and here we are the panel is now fitted into the frame we can see that uh, securely bolted underneath there's a row of no, nothing on the front because the front sits on the angle line frame but we've bolted all the way around so uh, yeah all right let's put it on the vehicle okay guys so we've uh, installed the solar panel up on the roof and uh, just have a quick look here as you can see this is the bracket we were talking about before that's the bracket that comes down off the side there bolts through here the back bracket starts around here and bolts through here so it gives us that support that's just not going anywhere um, there's the panel up on the roof as you can see and uh, we plug the solar panel in through a Anderson plug here under the cover we've got the same on the other side I'll just show you the other side there and uh, this means we can actually plug a, another one here we can plug a uh, that's just this cover is actually a solar cover for a caravan we just put an Anderson plug up in there as you can see in there and it's paralleled off with the other one and uh, the panels off center we did that the idea being that uh, we can use the side this room here it gives a storage rack room here I can put something down here yeah so there's the panel it's a 160 watt energy um, approximately 20 amps and sorry 20 volts and 8 amps coming out of it so I'll just show you what it looks like in the uh, inside here now Let me just open the canopy up okay so in here we've got a red arc which is the BCDC 1225D probably can't see it too well the moment where uh, solar charge the stage light is blinking so once every two seconds so it's actually it's in float because the battery is quite there's nothing hanging off the battery at the moment so this is our solar input so if you can get a bit closer there that's pretty much 0.4 of a amp and 19 volts this middle panel here is telling us what the charger is giving out to the battery 
and see 13.3 volts this battery is full I charged them the other day so um, and this lower panel just gives me my current output from the battery and the voltage so if we just turn the inside light on and turn that dimmer up to put a bit of load in the battery you can see now that uh, the load's gone up a bit 1.8 amps I put the other light on that gives me 2 amp 2.7 amps of draw we've got a light up here on the inside which is dimmable we've also got a light up here on the door so a bit of load here voltage is battery voltage 13.1 we've got 2.6 amps and 10 volts coming in which is not a lot but like I said the battery's pretty full and as you can see outside it's a pretty overcast day and the panel is lying flat so uh, yeah all in all pretty happy with the installation well I hope you enjoyed that video uh, with the solar panel install uh, if you uh, enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great if you'd like to subscribe to the channel uh, subscriptions here somewhere and I'll include a link just here for the uh, detailed electrical panel installation that we've just uh, done on the canopy so uh, if you'd like to check that out that'd be great um, thanks uh, for watching and we'll see you in the next one